Hey guys, Casey of OmniGamer here with a video game review. The Technomancer is one of the more unusual experiences I've had with the game. Not because it's the most original RPG I've ever played, but because I'm not sure whether I enjoyed the game. In a sense, it's very divisive. But now, I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh shit. The story follows Zachariah Manser. He's a Technomancer, which is basically a lightning mage on Mars. Early on, he learns that technomancy is actually a mutation, and mutants are treated worse than Donald Trump at a Sanders rally. He vows to protect this secret with his life and enlists in the army of his fascist city. But, like any good tyrant, the leader of the secret police wants to be in the know at any cost. The story is interesting enough, but that can mostly be attributed to the detailed world of the technomancer, which is by far the best aspect of the game. Even though some things are stupid, like Mars being hot, sunlight mutating human DNA instead of giving you the worst sunburn of your life, and how killing of any kind is a taboo when Mars is in the middle of a water shortage. As far as I'm concerned, less lives means more water to go around, but I digress. Anyway, world building is the most important draw to large RPGs, and this is where the Technomancer delivers. The Mars setting is intriguing enough to spur the imagination, and there's enough depth in political factions to make the world feel believable. As a matter of fact, the faction system is similar to Fallout New Vegas. Doing something like sparing the opposition's leader will obviously boost your reputation with them, but at the cost of lowering your rep with abundance, your corporate country. Even the side quests have a decent amount of story to them, which thankfully doesn't make them feel like chores, and since they're finite, you get a sense of accomplishment when you finish them. No settlement babysitting here. With that said, it feels like the Technomancer is lacking some polish, and by some, I mean a lot. I noticed one too many continuity errors in the middle of dialogue, and a couple of quest-breaking glitches happened to me. I even glitched one of the last bosses and completely took advantage of him. Hopefully these can be patched later on, but what can't be patched later on is the combat, which is the worst part of the game. I swear to god, Dark Souls has ruined me. If anything feels even remotely clunky, it leaves me beyond frustrated, and controlling Zachariah feels like controlling a character from the PS2 era. His attacks feel like they lack any sort of punch, and it's borderline unfair when you compare the amount of damage dealt to the damage taken. I'm playing on normal mode, and it feels like all my weapons are made of styrofoam. Meanwhile, it's ridiculous how much damage the enemy does to you. Locking onto specific targets also slows down the dodge, so it's better to forget about it altogether. There are three different fighting stances, from defensive, offensive, to agile, and they're coupled with different lightning spells, items, and commands that you can map to a quick fire scheme. It's definitely complex, but with the exception for the health and the spells, it's more effort than it's worth. And if you run out of health items, this is what the combat devolves into. Granted, that wouldn't happen as much if the sprint button and the waste of health injection on your dumb immortal companion button weren't the same one. It's also kind of sad how easily you can abuse the AI in this game. Most enemies can be caught in an infinite combo with attack, kick, and repeat. There's also stealth in this game, but you can safely ignore it and sprint past any enemies since they don't chase you and their territory is pitifully small. I think it's safe to say that there's nothing redeeming about the combat because it's never fun. As far as the rest of the gameplay goes, there's quite a bit of walking around different cities and navigating the menu system from hell. I don't normally like to harp on or praise graphics too much since artistic style is more important, but it's worth mentioning that the Technomancer doesn't look great. Maybe it's the awkward dialogue jump cuts, but this game definitely looks subpar when compared to something like Mass Effect, which came out almost a decade ago. Voice acting is also hit or miss, but at worst some lines just fall flat as opposed to being outright terrible. But that seems to be the main theme for the Technomancer. It's inconsistent and rough around the edges. There's an interesting world and game buried underneath all these flaws, and it feels like the game could use a lot more polishing, because as it sounds now, it's almost like the dev took on more than they could chew. The Technomancer tries to do everything a AAA RPG like Mass Effect or Fallout does, but does nothing well. There's a karma system that I'm not quite sure what it actually affected, the crafting system is bare bones and forgettable, and I can make the most generic white guy ever with the character customization, but there's no female option. There's just so much content that feels shoehorned in for the sake of checking it off the list. Now, I'd be lying if I said there weren't times when I was immersed in this game. The setting and world are more than enough of a draw for a diehard RPG fan. 
if you can stomach all the flaws. But there are a lot of problems, so if you have the time between all your Steam Summer Sale impulse buys, then you may want to consider giving the Technomancer a shot, but you'd have to be pretty desperate. Okay, so I somehow managed to avoid killing a soldier in the last area, so now the main villain is just making it rain grenades in the same spot. I can't hit him or his lackeys, so I'll just do this. You know, I was going to mention how useless the explosive traps were in the review, but I wouldn't be able to do this if I didn't have over 25 of them saved up. Alright, I killed the soldier, so now it's time for the moment of truth. Playing with fire, and that even tyrants can burn. We shall see. Worth. Easiest boss ever. Okay, so it's sign off time. So if you like the video, please subscribe, comment, like, or whatever. Later.